Are you ready to unleash the full power of your PC for gaming? In this video, I'll show you 10 essential tweaks that can transform your gaming experience. Whether you're chasing higher FPS or smoother gameplay, these tips have you covered. So guys hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, let's dive in. So guys in the first step, open your search bar and look for system configuration, then click on it to access the settings. Once there, switch to selective startup and check the first two boxes. After that, click apply and OK to save the changes. Next, navigate to the boot tab, ensure that safe boot is turned off. For the timeout setting, choose a value between 0 and 5 seconds, depending on your PC's performance. A high performance PC can handle 0 seconds, while lower end systems should use 5 seconds. For an average PC like mine, a 3 second timeout works well. While still on this page, stay here and click on advanced options. In this menu, check the box for number of processors. Most users will find it set to 1, or perhaps 4, select the maximum number available. This will vary depending on your CPU, for example. If your processor supports 8 or more, choose the highest option. Increasing the number of processors allows your PC to run faster by utilizing more processing power in the background. Always select the maximum value available for optimal performance. Next, open Task Manager and go to the Services tab. Scroll down to find the following services, Xbox Off Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox Jib SVC, and Xbox Net. If you don't use the Xbox Control Panel, which most of you likely don't, you should disable these. Even if you use the Xbox Game Bar for recording or screenshots, it's best to turn it off for better performance. To disable these services, simply right-click on each one and select Stop. That's it. Each of these services consumes about 5 to 10 processes. Disabling them can free up a significant amount of processing power potentially saving up to 40 processes. Search for Game Mode Settings in the search bar and open it. Once there, go to the Game Bar section and make sure it's turned off. Do the same for captures both need to be disabled. These features are tied to Xbox services and handle game clipping, but they're inefficient and can negatively impact your PC's performance. Instead, download NVIDIA GeForce Experience for recording and clipping gameplay. It's a much better alternative as it uses significantly fewer resources and minimizes delays. Features like the Xbox Game Bar may seem convenient, but they can drastically slow down your system. Disabling them and switching to NVIDIA is a simple yet effective way to improve your PC's performance. Now game mode, guys turn game mode on and go to graphics settings. Here you can set your game on high performance so your PC give its maximum power to your game. For that guys browse your game and set it to high performance. Open System Settings and navigate to Storage on the left side. Make sure Storage Sense is enabled. I recommend setting it to run every week. This feature helps free up space and improves your hard drive's performance by automatically clearing unnecessary files. Next, click on Configure Storage Sense or choose to run it immediately. Set it to Clean Up Weekly, which will automatically remove temporary files and empty the recycle bin. Keep in mind that when you delete files, they're often just moved to the recycle bin. Not fully removed, Storage Sense will handle this for you. Guys, here is free Gear Up Booster app. Link is in description, so double tap here. And now you will find the link. Copy and search this link in the browser. Simply copy the link, open any browser, paste the link, search, and download the Gear Up Booster on your PC. Next, you will find an X15 day free trial using this coupon code. One of the luckiest persons can claim this code for free 15 days in the Gear Up Booster. After installation, you will find the interface of the Gear Up Booster. Go to your Fortnite or whatever game you want to optimize your ping in. Go to the Games tab, where you will find thousands of games. Go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Click on the Boost button, and this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. Once you are connected with the Gear Booster, you will find a region and node. This will automatically find everything for you and you do not need to change anything. Click on the launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Alright guys, 
head to Advanced System Settings. From there, click on Performance and then Settings. You'll see several options, Adjust for Best Appearance, Adjust for Best Performance, or let Windows decide what's best for your computer. These settings affect what you see on your screen. For example, settings like showing shadows under your mouse pointer, displaying shadows under Windows, or showing thumbnails instead of icons are all customizable. I've chosen to enable only a few options that I personally prefer, leaving the rest disabled. While there are other settings you can adjust, many of them aren't essential for me. Tweaking these options is all about boosting performance and enhancing system smoothness, especially if you're working with a low-end PC. Simplifying visual effects can make a noticeable difference in how your system runs. Next, click on Advanced. In this section, you can control how your processor's resources are allocated. Make sure it's set to best performance of programs. If it's set to background services, it won't be ideal for gaming or streaming, as it prioritizes background processes instead of active programs. For instance, if I had Fortnite open, the system would focus its resources on optimizing the game's performance over other tasks running in the background. Open the Windows search bar again and type in Focus. Select Focus Assist from the results. This is where you can manage your notifications. If you want to prevent message pop-ups while gaming or working, simply turn off Focus Assist. If you don't want notifications off completely, you can choose to disable them only while you're playing a game or in full screen mode. You can customize the settings to suit your needs or set it to allow only alarms. Now search here for background and you will see background apps. Click on background apps and make sure that this is off. This is going to let apps run in the background and you don't want that. So, turn it off, that's only going to hurt your FPS a lot. Now guys, right click on the Start menu and open Device Manager. In the Device Manager, locate the System Devices drop-down and expand it. Scroll down until you find the High Precision Event Timer. This timer can often reduce FPS on some systems, so many people disable it by right-clicking and selecting Disable Device. I personally disable it, and it's helped improve my system's performance. However, if you notice a decrease in performance or lower FPS after disabling it, you can always re-enable the timer. For most of you, though, disabling it should offer a performance boost, just like it has for me. Next tweak. It's simple but important. First, make sure you're on your desktop. Right-click on the bottom bar, select Task Manager, and go to Performance. For your CPU, we want to reduce its load. The easiest way to do this is by going to the Startup tab and disabling any apps listed with Status Enabled. These apps run in the background as soon as you turn on your PC, and you don't want that. You can open them later when needed. For example, if the Epic Games launcher starts automatically when you turn on your PC, it runs in the background. You don't need that, as it uses up your CPU. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos in future. Peace out.